this is Bobby, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So Japan and Japan's Tenshin Nasakua, they thought it would be a great idea to try to make a name off of Floyd Mayweather's name, and that plan completely backfired this past weekend. Nasakua was supposed to go three rounds with Floyd Mayweather in an exhibition match. Nasakua, he truly wanted to knock Floyd Mayweather out or at least look good, put on a good performance, of course. Thinking that Floyd Mayweather is damn near 42 years old, he's 20 years old, Floyd Mayweather is retired, maybe I'll have a better chance of winning. Tension said before the fight that he wanted a knockout, and he definitely got a knockout, but he was the one getting knocked out in the first round. He couldn't even get past the first round. So let me go ahead and read to you guys what Tension had to say about his loss to Floyd Mayweather. You guys have to excuse me, by the way. I had to take two days off. It's been a very, very long time since I took two days off doing this YouTube stuff full time. But anyway, let's get back into the mix of things. And let me go ahead and quote what Tension said. I've worked hard with a big dream in the combat world, karate, kickboxing, MMA, and boxing. When I first got the offer, I took it in a flash. I thought this was an opportunity of a lifetime. And although there were significant differences in accomplishments and weight classes, I felt that I must not run and take on the challenge. The days since the fight was confirmed have been enjoyable, but with concerns, and I spent the time thinking about many things. At the end of the day, I got finished, but I have no regrets. I am disappointed at myself since I thought I could have done better. But I will face the facts and will continue to take any challenge. I've learned that I didn't work hard enough to earn this opportunity and I will use this defeat to improve myself and move forward this year. Despite all of the things that happened leading up to the fight, I came to realize how truly great Mayweather was. I was the one underestimating him. And then he continues, he goes on by basically saying that one day he will be the man, one day he will be in Floyd Mayweather's position and he thanks Floyd Mayweather very, very much. You know, I'm pretty glad that Tension, he came out being very honest, admitting that he underestimated Floyd Mayweather. He really thought he can go in there once again with this 40-year-old man and embarrass him. He thought that he was really going to make a name off of Floyd Mayweather, and that's what the Japanese people thought. You guys have to think about this. It was Japan that reached out to Floyd Mayweather to make this deal. You know, I remember when Michael Jackson, when he reunited with his brothers, the Jackson Five, and he did a special on TV. Now the networks, they obviously allowed Michael Jackson to put this special together, but the catch was Michael Jackson had to introduce or invite one of the new groups at the time, which was NSYNC, onto the stage and do a song with them. This was an obvious attempt to pass the torch over to NSYNC. And once again, this is exactly what Tenson Nasakua was attempting to do. But unfortunately for him, he fell miserably. And what's almost surprising to me is even though Tenson, he was crying at the end and you could see he really, really wanted to do good in this exhibition. Even though his feelings were hurt, this actually surprises me because the racist fans, their feelings were hurt even more. I don't know why, but they could not accept the fact that Floyd Mayweather went in there and blew out this guy. I'm telling you guys, I understand the psychology of a racist. I truly do. There is only one thing that a racist fan hates more than seeing a black fighter beat a non-black fighter. And that is when a black fighter knocks out a non-black fighter. The way they responded to Floyd Mayweather knocking out Nasakua... They've been doing this for decades. When Sugar Ray Leonard made Roberto Duran quit, they actually blamed that 
on Sugar Ray Leonard. And they tried to take credit away from Sugar Ray Leonard. They said that fight was fixed. They said they made all kind of excuses. They said Sugar Ray Leonard didn't deserve credit because Roberto Duran quit. If you guys watch the documentaries, the No Moss documentaries, the 30 for 30 documentaries, you'll hear boxing writers and reporters talking about Sugar Ray Leonard almost worse than they talk about Floyd Mayweather today. When Bernard Hopkins knocked out Oscar De La Hoya, they said that was fixed. They tried to take credit away from Bernard Hopkins. When Tim Bradley knocked out Brandon Rios with a body shot, they took that so personal. They got so emotional about that knockout saying, oh, that was BS. Brandon Rios wasn't in shape, et cetera, et cetera. You know, it's funny thinking about that fight. I remember when I would talk boxing with people, not even talking about, you know, the knockout, but just bringing up Tim Bradley versus Brandon Rios. Fans, non-black fans, they would get so emotional. They'd be like, oh, come on, that fight was a joke. Brandon Rios didn't even train for that fight. He was out of shape and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? Even though Brandon Rios, he has never looked like he's been in shape. He always trains the exact same way for all of his fights. But because he got knocked out by someone on a coincidental list, now all of a sudden he wasn't in shape, etc., etc., etc. But when Brandon Rios lost to Manny Pacquiao, when he lost to Danny Garcia, we didn't hear any of those excuses. This is why I always tell you guys, this sport is solely based on race, nationality, pride and emotion that's what it's based on they cannot stand they don't care that this is an exhibition they don't even care that Nasakua was smaller than Floyd Mayweather they are just so enraged that a black man knocked out this non-black fighter they just hate to see it it just burns their skin up seeing it I'll give you perfect examples it goes further than boxing obviously I remember John Jones, I remember when John Jones, this was a couple years back. John Jones, there was a, a video clip of him training. He was sparring with some white guy. He knocked the white guy out cold. And all the comments were just all these racist fans pissed off, saying, oh, that was BS. That guy didn't even train. John Jones, he got that guy off the streets. John Jones, he can't knock anyone out. Only a bum like this, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Oh man, they were pissed off. And this was just training. This didn't even count. Just like this Floyd Mayweather fight didn't even count. I'll give you even one of my videos, for example. Um, I have a video that pretty much went viral. Uh, Devin Haney. Devin Haney, he sparred with the fake Canelo. My man, um, Larry Treybig. Larry Treybig, for those of you guys that don't know, he's like a Canelo impersonator. He goes around, you know, taking pictures with fans, tricking them, thinking he's Canelo. But anyway, he actually boxes. So he went in there. You know, he's an amateur boxer. Now he is. He went in there and he sparred with Devin Haney. And Devin Haney pretty much stopped him in the first two minutes. And the comment section, oh man, they were so pissed off in the comment section. They were talking about Devin Haney and how he took advantage of this guy. And you had racial slurs in the comment section. It was just extremely personal. As if their brother or someone just got beat up on TV. I mean, I can give you guys tons of examples, but I think you guys get the point by now. But let's just go back to this excuse that the racist fans are using for why Floyd Mayweather obliterated Nasakua. Now, all of a sudden, they're saying that the fight was fixed. And this is how we know that there's no way this fight was fixed because there is no motive to fix this fight. It was Japan that reached out to Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather didn't reach out to Japan and say, hey man, I want to put on an exhibition with one of your biggest stars. Once again, it was Japan that reached out to Floyd Mayweather. So think about this for a second. If we know that it was Japan that reached out to Floyd Mayweather, why would Japan set up their own fighter to make him look like garbage in front of the whole world to ruin his reputation? Why would they do something like that? Wouldn't it make more sense, even if this were fixed, wouldn't it make more sense for them 
to just have a little bit of a light type sparring session where it where nothing is really serious and Nasakua he goes three rounds where he does he never gets hurt he never looks bad wouldn't that make more sense that would be more of the type of fix you would have what does Japan get out of making their own star look bad that's like Mexico paying Floyd Mayweather to come to Mexico and knock out their brightest prospect that they have, their brightest up and coming prospect, knock him out in 20 seconds. Floyd Mayweather, we're gonna pay you $10 million to come over here and knock out our brightest star in an exhibition match. It makes no sense. It makes no sense at all. Matter of fact, I even asked one of the fans in the comment section when I seen people start to post these comments, oh man, that was fixed, that was so fake, et cetera, et cetera. So I asked him the question. I said, why would Japan pay Floyd Mayweather to come over there and knock out their one of their own stars and fix it to make their own guy look bad? Why would they do that? And his response was like, I don't know. Of course you don't know, because it doesn't make sense. Because deep down, even you know. See these decaps, they know that the fight wasn't fixed, but once again, this is all therapeutic for them. They use these excuses like band-aids to put over the pain that they're dealing with watching Floyd Mayweather knock someone out or watching some other fighter on the coincidental list win a fight, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. When Floyd Mayweather knocks this guy out in the first round, they say the fight was fixed. When Floyd Mayweather goes 12 rounds with Manny Pacquiao, they say the fight was boring. The excuses are nothing but therapy for these decafs. So when a black fighter doesn't get knockouts, they say he's boring, like Andre Ward or Floyd Mayweather. But when these fighters do get knockouts, like Floyd Mayweather got in this exhibition, it's fixed. Or they will say he's on steroids, which is exactly what they said about Errol Spence. And while Errol Spence is being accused of being on steroids, meanwhile, you have fighters like Canelo Alvarez testing positive and other fighters. But yeah, you still have fans saying that Errol Spence is on something, even though he's never failed a test and he has never turned down Olympic style random drug testing. Like Manny Pacquiao did in 2008, when he turned down an opportunity to fight Floyd Mayweather after Floyd Mayweather had agreed to all of Manny Pacquiao's demands. This is the reason why so many of these racist fans got so upset when Floyd Mayweather knocked out Victor Ortiz. The irony of the whole situation just blows my mind. You had someone like Victor Ortiz who was cheating the whole night. You go back and you watch that fight, go rewatch that fight. You'll notice Victor Ortiz, he was purposely headbutting Floyd Mayweather the whole night. The only difference is the last time he did it, it was far more blatant and it busted Floyd Mayweather's mouth. So while Victor Ortiz continues to do illegal headbutts, Floyd Mayweather, he catches Victor Ortiz with a legal one-two piece after Victor Ortiz keeps apologizing and apologizing because Victor Ortiz, he got caught and he felt guilty as hell. That karma came back and knocked his ass out. Now, and if Floyd Mayweather, can you guys imagine if Floyd Mayweather was intentionally cheating, headbutting someone all night? Can you guys imagine if Floyd Mayweather did something like that and then the guy actually knocked out Floyd while Floyd was apologizing? Do you think anyone would be saying that's some BS? Why did he have to knock out Floyd Mayweather like that? We already know what the fans would say. They would say that's exactly what Floyd Mayweather gets for cheating. So at the end of the day, even Tenshin Nasakua, even he admitted that he underestimated Floyd Mayweather. And these racist fans are just going to have to deal with it. You can make as many excuses as you want. That ain't going to change nothing. That's going to make you and your racist homies feel better, but it ain't going to change nothing. That's all these racist fans ever do is make excuses for the losers that they support and the winners that they go against. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one.
love that.